Well, hello to everyone and welcome as you join us for the second of these group stage games. Competition only a couple of match days old, but there have been already plenty of talking points. Much for us to scrutinise over the course of a fortnight or so. Winners on day one, no doubt now looking to cement their place in the latter stages as quickly as possible. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Chelsea had the perfect opening day, now they look to press on. Well, Peter, I think they have every reason to go after another three points here. They pretty much set their stall out in the first match, so why back off now? It's not the time to, to compromise. They have the belief, and they must stick to what they're good at, I feel. Last time around, we were saying, start as you mean to go on. So, no deserting instincts, thanks. the way so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture yeah Thibaut Courtois he's a huge presence between the sticks and that's not just because he's six foot six Peter he's got great reflexes wonderful positioning and uh, he's a strong and he has been fouled there Casemiro. Balls loose, who's getting there? Big chance! Modric, usually, is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can, though. Good ball. Cuts it out. Courtois sends that a long way. Now can he finish? Shoots! That's been levered clear. Well, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Werner knows only too well that he should have converted after getting through one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't need telling. Defending of the desperate variety. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. And he's there to hoof it away. Keeper and try something new. Decent early chances. It bodes well for an exciting game. Good take, and he's had a look. Alaba goes looking, and the counter is on. Conte. It's one! And it's Zion. It's Lukaku! Gets good distance on it. Raspilicueta. Zayak. Red Zayak. Goal kick. No, no, I stand corrected. It's a corner. Courtois deals with it effortlessly. Keeper's ball.
Sayek. And it's Chilwell. Played into the middle. Managed to get it away. And now the breakaway. Madrid have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Keeper's got good distance on that. Well weighted. Werner goes for goal! It's a little unfortunate, he had a lot of people worried then. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Conte. Zayak tries to dink it in. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. With Sayak. Lukaku. Is there any supposed for goal? A real chance and a real let-off. Chelsea were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. He's made sure that that won't get through. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. It's got through and... Lukaku is alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Casemiro, Modric, forward it goes, Hazard looks to get on the end of this, neatly flicked on, oh shooting chance, he's delivered all right, and always such a great time to score, a brilliant boost before you head in for half time and you can guarantee that dressing room will be buzzing now. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Chelsea draw first blood here. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And back to base. Keeper sends it forward. And the first half is done. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, so it's paying dividends. Chelsea having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time. He's gone for it! It's in! And with that goal comes comfort! 
Speed of thought, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Chelsea take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Lukaku. Zayek. Alaba simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. Tony Kroos, Modric, time and again they are repelled, Alaba, well the moans and groans from the stands now are very audible, good ball, Werner gets flagged offside, Modric loses his balance and loses the ball and he's cut it out a slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it just brushed off the ball there Lukaku is effectively being marked out of the game here yeah, now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. With Sayak. Danger averted for now. And it's Azar. Defenders on the back foot as Pliqueta takes the long option. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Well, Conte, Zayek, Alaba does well there, alert. Plays it over to the other flank. Benzema. Was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. He goes long. It's a goal kick. Chelsea are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. With Sayak. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. And here's Azar. It's 
Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. Raspilicueta. Zayek. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. And it's got through. Now the counter. Lukaku. Out of play for a goal kick. Madrid making consecutive changes here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Werner, five minutes left on the clock, and it's Tony Kroos, Modric, over to the left, Marcelo, crosses it, and that's been levered clear, it's anyone's ball, back in once more, Rudiger knocks it away, Werner could move up a gear here. Werner, that is a terrific run. Conte, good ball, it's fell. And a shot! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Werner did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Good idea, just poorly executed. Marcos Alonso. And here's Lukaku. Zayek. Luka He's had a go! This could fall anywhere. He's good for it. He's pulled off a fine save. <laughs> and in time is up, and there goes the whistle. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well-deserved. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Yeah, they had a game plan which...